Hello everyone, Beard Reads Books here and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing this book Talking with Psychopaths and Savages Beyond Evil by Christopher Berry D. It's a deeper journey into the minds of the most cold-blooded killers. I'm going to be honest guys, I couldn't finish this book. I got to page 70 and I gave up. It was just the writing style is Christopher Berry D's style of writing it just oh I just couldn't get into it I really couldn't he it's what's the best way to describe it I mean he I mean in some of the early pages the way he the way he's written it he comes across as though he thinks of himself as bigger and better and more intelligent than uh, these killers that he's interviewed, as though he's intelligent enough to outwit them. I mean, he describes these killers as like egotistical, narcissistic, and that the way he presents himself as being able to outsmart them and outwit them. He comes across as a bit egotistical himself, and I mean some and some of the ways he's written. If I can, oh, if I can find the page, oh, I can't find find the page. You know, yeah. I mean some of the some of the phrases he puts. About one of the killers he's describing. He was also broke. He didn't have a pot to piss in. John was bouncing checks all over the place. That's. I said that. that he's been very repetitive in what he's writing now. And to say he was broke, just say he's broke. Don't need to go on to say he's not got a pot to piss in and all the rest. I mean, that's a bit cliche. Not having a pot to piss. It there's quite a few cliches like that throughout the book, and um, yeah, I mean, it, I just couldn't get on with the the writing style, and yeah, I mean, my view of this book, this is the kind of book that you find in the bargain section, uh, a motorway service station. You know, when you're on your way on a holiday, you know, you, you're you bombing down the M5 on a holiday to the West Country and you stop for petrol and you see this. And you think, oh, I'll buy it, it's cheap, I'll buy it for the holiday, read on the holiday. Or it's in the bargain basement section at an airport, you know, something to read on your, on the plane. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's. The book equivalent of the mindless trash that you get on TV. You know all those rubbish TV programmes you get? Like Dancing on Ice, Married at First Sight, Britain's Got Talent. All the mindless trash you get on television. The kind you just sit there and mong out. <laughs> this to my mind, is the book equivalent of that. It's just <laughs> mindless drivel for the mindless masses. That's what this book is for. <sighs> Don't bother, guys. Honestly, that is my view. My, my personal view of this. Don't even bother. <laughs> I mean, if you get given it for free, then fair enough. <laughs> it might be worth giving it a try just to form your own opinion. But if you pay, if you pay twenty pence for it, my view is that's twenty pence too much. <laughs> no, I, I just didn't get on with it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, guys. <laughs> That's my views. Maybe a bit harsh, but that's my views of it. <laughs> and on that happy note, I'm going to 
bring this book to an this video to an end. And if any of you have read this book, let me know what you thought of it. Did you think it was absolute rubbish? Or did you enjoy it? Did you think it was good? So yeah. Drop me a comment, let me know what you thought of it. I'll be I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And on that happy note, I'm going to bring this video to an end and say that I'm going to look forward to seeing you in the next one. And in the meantime, take care. Happy reading.